So, Susmita, tell me about yourself. First of all, I have to thank you, sir, for introducing myself. I am you, Susmita. I am from Kavali, Nellu district. Currently, I am staying in Hyderabad. I have completed my graduation in RSR Engineering College, Kadanutala, in the year of 2018 in, in the stream of Electronics and Communication of Engineering with the aggregate of 74%. As I am from IT background, I want to explore my skills and new and try to learn new technologies. And coming to my achievements, uh, at the end of my the graduation, I have done a project on design of high-speed carry select order using Brent can gather. In this project, I have played a team loader, team leader role, mm -hmm. so that I can have the uh, team leader qualities. I I know that. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's all about myself. Can you can you give me you know what all technologies you use to develop this project? Um, I have used Xilinx fourteen point three version. Mm -hmm. I have used technology Verilog technology. Okay, okay, very good. So okay, so you mentioned Python in your resume, right? So how much rate you rate yourself in Python out of five? Three point five. 3.5 good very good so tell me what is the main objective of any programming language why we are why we need programming language so, whether it is python or anything mm, if we want to communicate with any person it is very flexible if we communicate what they in their language mm -hmm. like that computer has also some languages to understand mm -hmm. these programming languages are useful to uh, communicate with the computer very good like java Python, whatever maybe. These are the languages which are used to communicate with the computer so that it can understand our the programming language. Okay. Very good. Very good. So generally, I mean, what is the use of variables, Smita? Variables are the building blocks of the program mm -hmm. which are used to store the data. Okay, very good. Can you store multiple values into a single variable? Uh we can at a time. Uh, it is list of arguments. Uh, I mean, what I mean to say, data structures. Okay. It are uh, data structures which are used to store the data in an organized manner. Okay. Like list, tuple, set, dictionary. Very good. Very good. So, what is the difference between list and tuple? Um, list is a data structure which is used to store heterogeneous values, which follows order, allows duplicate values. It is mutable in terms of appending, deleting. And coming to the tuple, tuple is also a data structure which stores heterogeneous values, which follows order duplicate values, but it is immutable. Okay, okay, very good. What is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy? Mm. Whenever we are copying an object into another object using assignment operator, Python does not allocate different memory locations. It allocates same memory allocation, memory, I mean memory locations. It is shallow copy. Whereas coming to deep copy, it copy only objects but elements but not the addresses okay very good very good can you write a program you know can you write a program to find the sum of uh, 1 to 100 even numbers 1 to, uh, 100. 1 to 100 even number sum i need yes Very good, very good. So, but one thing you should know that I did not use a keyword as a variable name. That's okay. Okay, no worries. So now, I mean, it's a function. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, no worries. So, tell me, what is the use of slicing? Extracting a part of the data structure is called slicing. Okay. So, meaning, uh, I mean, can you can you give me syntax for the slicing? I mean, what you have, what you need to get uh, do the slicing? Can I explain with an example? It's like yeah. Can you, yeah, okay. I will give you one example. So you do slicing then. I want to read 135 from this list. Okay, I want to read 135 from this list. How do we do that? 135. 135. Okay. So what is, what is the meaning of that? Uh, Sir, yeah. uh, here it is the starting 
Mm-hmm. It is ending. It was. It is the step. Okay. 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 Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Tell me, what do you mean of function, Sushmita? What is Block the use of functions? Block of statements is called mm-hmm. a function, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can div- by dividing the program into functions. Multiple persons can work on the same task. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it has uh, reusability. I mean, so it will be useful. So uh, multiple persons can work on it. It can be useful to anyone to access that. I mean, to work on it. Okay, very good, very good. Re- reusability is the main object. Very good. So, what is the use of generators? Generator is a special function which uses yield keyword to return a value. Mm-hmm. Whenever we want to return a multiple values, if we use return, first it was storing all the values. After that, it returned the value, but it takes lot of memory, mm-hmm. memory wastage. If we use yield keyword, whenever the program executing, if we get value, first it returns the value, and again go back to the function and uh, again process it. Very good. Very there is good. no storage of. Uh, Vestige you don't need memory. to waste the memory to store the values. Yes. Excellent. Very good. What is the use of decorators? Mm-hmm. Decorators are used to add new functionality to the output without modifying its structure. Okay. Very good. Can you give me an example? Can you write yes. a small example for decorator? Very good. So you return decorator for sorting the elements, right? Okay. Original function is not sorting, not printing the elements from the list in a sorted way, but your decorator is making them sort. Very good. Excellent. So what do you, what do you mean of anonymous functions? Lambda functions are the anonymous functions which are used to create small functionalities. Mm-hmm. Um, it can have multiple inputs, but only one expression. Okay. 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 Where we generally use lambda functions? What is the purpose of general uh, lambda functions? Why not def keyword functions? Um, sir, it is a small functionality. I have said uh, it can easily with the short code. Okay, very good. So to create can, the code in a short way, we use okay. So what do you mean of call stack? Call stack. Remembering the path of the program which is executing is called call stack. Call stack. Very good. Very good. So can you explain me all Woops concepts? Woops concepts. Yes. Inheritance, mm-hmm. in uh, in OOPs, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, and encapsulation. Coming to the inheritance, acquiring the properties from one class to another class is called inheritance. Mm-hmm. It has code reusability. And coming to polymorphism, same piece of code behaving differently in different situations is known as polymorphism. Mm-hmm. And coming to the abstraction, implementing hiding the implementation of the code from outside of the world is called abstraction. Encapsulation coming to encapsulation means wrapping up of the all the objects and methods is known as encapsulation. Very good, very good. What is the use of um, overriding method of overriding? Method overriding changing the behavior of the parent class method in child class is known as method overriding. Why we gen- why we need that generally? Sometimes we have to update the parent uh, update the parent class method so that method overriding is used. Uh, Instead of over uh, com- changing completely the parent class method, we can change in child class method also. Very good, very good. So, what is the use of MRO? MRO means method resolution order. Mm-hmm. It is used to decide which method has to be called first and which method has to be called next. Very good. What do you mean of exception? Exception is an runtime error, sir. Mm-hmm. Whenever we are, of course, we are human beings. Uh, while we are running a program, there may be occurrence of exceptions. Before getting an error, uh, initially we are writing exception handling. Very good, very good, very good. So, do you, I mean, how much you rate yourself in my scale out of five? My SQL, uh, three, sir. Three, very good. What is the difference between SQL and my SQL? SQL means it is a structured query language. Uh, it was, it, uh, it is a root to the database, sir. Hmm. MySQL itself, it is a database. Okay, okay, very good, very good. 
So what are the classification of commands we are having in MySQL? DDL commands, DCL commands, DQL commands, TCL commands. Very good, very good. What is the use of joins? Joins. It is used to extract the information from multiple tables. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Can you write a small query to add primary key to the uh, existing table? For example, you are having employee table. Okay, you are having the columns like employee number, employee name, salary. I want you to add primary key to the employee number. Sure. Yes. Tell me what is the use of foreign key? Foreign key. It is used to establish the parent to child class relationships. It is used to validate the data before entering into the child class. It was validating against the parent class. Parent class. Very good. What is the use of group by, by the way? Group by. It group the according to one particular department, whatever maybe. Okay. So based on some criteria, you are right. grouping oh, yes, the data. Very good. Very good, Susmita. So it's good. Nice talking to you, Susmita.